Happy Halloween! So hello my Sagittariuses or just people watching the series. If you have been here since the beginning, pat on your back. Mm -hmm. Do you feel that? Yes, good for you. You're loyal. I like you. But um, yeah, if you're first here right now, go check out the other videos. We're just doing a little series where I was inspired by all these glittery dresses that I have and I know everybody has glittery dresses in their closet and you know you just wonder like hey when am I going to use these of course I'm going to use them on Halloween and so I also had this for like a Jon Snow that I never did and um I know it's more like crow like or armor like but again with the Sagittarius look I wanted there to be a bit of because of course my dress is very pretty but I wanted there to be a bit of like bossness, a bit of warrior-like. So that's why we have the black and it really carries in here. Um, so even though when you think of Sagittarius, you think of perhaps like the arrows and um, the centaur. Um, I mean, if I could do half horse, that would be so dope. But I will say with this look, I felt a little bit more uncomfortable. I was like, oh my god, I'm just going too far. People are going to, is my hair coming off? Um, so, you guys are just going to think I'm not or creative. Hopefully the latter. Hopefully a little bit of the first, but to the point that, like, you just kind of feel, like, inspired by that. But, um, yeah, I hope you like the look. I added some ears. Just, just go watch everything. about being a Sagittarius I just realized my microwave is gonna go off in the background I gotta stop um I'll be right back okay so what it what do you guys think I'm gonna do when the Halloween series is over what is your guess do you think I do makeup every day false 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 okay do you think I paint every day false false, false, false. okay I, as you can tell I'm in a super playful mood I have the thoughts and the thoughts are telling me to let you know um, the secrets to my positivity um, <sighs> it's like how do I explain this how do I do it I think first and foremost a lot of it comes from appreciating that's first and foremost you can't treat people time privileges that you carry without value and I think sometimes when you don't give any of those time if you don't give the people you love time if you don't give your um, endeavors time if you if you don't do that um you're gonna be unhappy point blank period and then on top of that um i love being different and i think being different comes from uh, i okay for example you look at Instagram. Yes, that place. So many people are like the same and like doing the same thing and like they're they're different people but they're doing the same thing. And I know that in life and in in the game of life we're all influencing each other. Let's be serious here. You know, you see someone having fun on Halloween, you want to have fun on Halloween. There's nothing wrong with that. You see someone being pretty, you want to be pretty nothing wrong with that but what I mean by that is just wanting to be or wanting doesn't equal that you are going to receive um, what was I saying that you're gonna receive some 
something different. The oh, the, oh, sorry, that you're gonna receive happiness. You're not gonna receive happiness in return of something that, in exchange for, um, you didn't ask yourself why you wanted it. If you can look at something and over and over again convince yourself that that's why you want it, then that's probably for you. But if you can look at something and over and over again um, tell yourself or like unconvince yourself at some point, then it's probably not going to equal your happiness. So that's first and foremost step one. So in many endeavors that I've done in life, I will think for long periods of time. That's important when you're making decisions to think it over and over. Why? Because you have to um, run probabilities and you have to see the angles of the situation in order to create the conclusion that you really desire. And how do you create a conclusion that you really desire? So, for example, doing Halloween stuff and it's so easy for people to start looking at me through their lens but the thing is any lens that they might put on me is a lens that they have chosen for me they have not chosen to look at it through my lens that's why if you're really listening to this podcast like portion of the video you're really learning something here not not all of the videos have been like this but i decided that this video would be so what are you learning you're learning that this is a person that's not all that she seems that is someone that can formulate a plan that can formulate a plan and execute a plan someone that can be brave enough to go out in front of people knowing you know bullies bullies are whack okay you know people that have low self-esteem and are mean they're whack so always remember that this is your life and that you are a complicated person like yeah you might be a Sagittarius you might not be a Sagittarius hopefully you're not a Sagittarius and the reason why I say that is if you're listening to this fully and you're not a Sagittarius one you should be subscribed because clearly you think I have something nice to say and worth hearing and two, you're starting to get something that you really need in life. Okay? So, because I've been going and preaching a lot, I am going to be doing similar things throughout the channel. But this is a Halloween special, so let me talk real quick about the look. The look took a warrior spin. I did some warrior-like um small delicate strokes on my face of different colors white and yellow i added the string dotted pearls pink pearls on top this wonderful black eyeshadow that is linked below is what i used to make the warrior look and i defined it with white paint for the neck there are strokes of different colors going down which i think is one of my favorite part of the look and this has been the only look thus far that I've used a stencil and I was really happy that I didn't F that up, okay? Lastly, this lipstick from the dollar store, one of my favorites because red is really hard to find but also I don't like my lipstick to um, dry out. And then for the pizzazz, I add some orangey fire to the forehead.
know you've made it to the end and I just want to thank you so much for watching like seriously it's so good to like put in work and know that someone out there is gonna be like damn damn I don't know like I just feel like creativity is very inspiring especially when it's fun it makes people feel like you know I need to put more into the things that I love whether it be music the things that you just leave behind for those days when you eventually will get to it and don't don't push that back like be inspired and go get it and i i keep preaching that in all the videos a little bit differently but as far as like end details go um i added this little strike streak 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 of black just to again bring in more rusticness i added in my extensions and because my ears i did not um put foundation on to match my face um I just put my hair in front of it so it's not like super obvious that it doesn't match I did add some lashes um like my feathery ones to kind of match this um and then as a little prop I like if you are going somewhere uh, honestly you don't need big props because it's just uncomfortable it's something you're gonna have to carry but I had this branch like this and I had this rope. And so this is my little arrow. Well, sorry. Um, is it? It's not an arrow. But, yeah. Like, this is my first realm. Or my first little step into the fire elements. And I'm excited. I'm feeling it. Oh, and I did add some little rope up here and um a little inspiration for like your hair because um horses like when i think of horses i think of like long flowy hair or i think of kind of like my little pony i don't know just like the height i feel like a half up half down really looks like um a little horse like i don't know just these small details to pull in everything together so hopefully you like it and yes thank you for watching Mwah. bye